Uh, welcome to the media, sir. Uh, you are out here today. We want to know what's the photo? Oh, well, um, we've been busy today in section, and then I uh, got a call from my radio director that uh, one of my staff was here. On a wish pretend I didn't know. Uh, but then when I uh, went into it, then I thought it was nonsense. I thought it was nonsense. This, uh, yeah, because we've been being consultations, uh, talking with him, Ben. So we advised him to take the vehicle to the Justice Ministry, right? And he took the vehicle on a good pretense to get the vehicle back. And he's like, I arrested for what? And at this evening, on my way home from work, and I got a call from Winston Blatty. He said, oh, you know uh, Ben in jail? I said, for what? He said, the father don't want to turn the vehicle off because he's been busy on his show, right? He showed that on, I said, for what? Then he said, oh, quote, unquote, I know he said, better not you, uh, whosoever, ought, you know, order the arrest. Through what means? What charge? We didn't know that. So I came, I signed off for him. I signed off for him to go, and when you got anything, you can go to court. You can see we dress to the court. Now I come in here arresting people because you have friends or whatever it is. No, no, no. no. I don't think that's the right way. I don't think that's the right way. That's what I came to sign off for him. Welcome to the media, sir. Yes, well, uh, first we want to thank uh, President Georgia. We want to thank our uh, party, the Tripartite Session of the Mighty Coalition for Democratic Change. We also want to thank um, the workaholic representative, the Honorable Abu Bana Kamara. Um, I mean, the police were professionals here. We we sat comfortably. We were the team. We were not incarcerated. Has been spread by those uh, remnants of the disorganized political arrangement. Those kids. All those descendants of the guys who murdered the men of our country, Europe. the likes of Yuri. I mean, but the, Euro, the definition of Yuri is, is murderer. So yeah, murder. that, that's not a string. I guess we oh, are reports that you were caught in the act of selling the vehicle that on the Benin Highway. It sounds, no, no, no. it sounds laughable. It sounds, it sounds, it sounds laughable. Yeah, you're getting your vehicle. It sounds, it sounds la la laughable on a most serious note. I mean, uh. We consciously chose to turn over Mr. Uri's 1997 Toyota Camry. But I put it in like on, oh, in like. We, we, we consciously chose to turn over Mr. Yeah. Uri's 1997 Toyota Camry sedan with air condition gives breast cancer. And I can safely say to you, after a protracted period of sitting in such a, a life hazard, I will be traveling to Ghana for to seek, you know, some healthcare delivery. I'll be traveling to, uh, to Accra very soon to see some medical, you know, some advanced healthcare delivery because sitting in 1997 Toyota sedans, it causes some health complications. Now, let me say this to you. The likes of Benin Ayure, like I continue to say, is a burden to Liberia progress. The opportunity that Yuri had during the Chastilla era as maritime commissioner, using Liberian people money, bringing helicopters filled with ammunition, giving those guns to young people, turning them into child soldiers, the legs of, uh, I mean, Boakai, over 40 years plus in public service, and, and after that, giving report to the librarian people, telling us that 40 years plus in governance and 12 years inclusive vice president that they squandered all of the opportunity they had, and seeing President George Weir cleaning their mess, teaching the narratives, making Liberia better, it hurts them a lot. It hurts them. During their days, you have to be from a particular class a group of people before you are given recognition to serve your country. President, we have changed the situation. President, we are as peace ambassador came to this country. He organized peace caravans, and those young people, the likes of Ben and I, you returned to child soldiers, killed around here. President, we are can't change the situation. The peace caravan, the UN knows what I'm talking about. The UN worked with George, we are the face of President, where I was used to disarm young people. He did not just disarm them, leave them vulnerable. President George, we have created programs. The We Are Foundation. When this president, we have established foundation. He established foundation when he, when he was using his talents to make money, and those money was used to transform the librarian people, the young people, for the better. When did the likes of Boaka establish foundation? After 40 years plus in government, 12 years including a vice president before he established a foundation that cannot point to anything. The likes of the Uris, the Uris, all of those guys in the disorganized political arrangement are burdened to the growth and development of the country. And since President Wai is ignoring them, making the country better, it hurts them. What occurred up there when you went to meet... Uh, and what uh, have been the actual story behind this guy? Well, uh, well, um, 
uh, serve in senior positions back then in the disorganized arrangement. I worked with Yuri, and you know, um, yes, the Vigo, the Vigo in question is Vigo that was given, but right now it's a legal issue. It's a legal issue. So but the you public, can make a no, the public, the no, no, no. Listen, the fact we said this time over number is a legal issue now. The vehicle was purchased for me. Uh, the vehicle, I was giving a check to purchase a vehicle for my use. So I'm telling you, the vehicle, we just wasted our time at Sam's today because we want to know what's occurred there. Where? You when you went to the Ministry of Justice? But firstly, the stories and all behind this. I went to the Ministry of Justice. And I told Frank, I received a call from Frank. Yeah, Mazzani, I saw the, 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 the document for the vehicle. And the Minister here, of man. Justice said, Mr. Uri said you have a vehicle here, a vehicle belonging to him. I said, no. Okay. The vehicle in question is not a property of Mr. Uri. The vehicle was bought for me by Mr. Uri. He issued a check and I took the check to a used car garage and I purchased the vehicle and I displayed the document bearing my name, a Toyota Camry Sedan, register in my name. Okay. So, um, but I am a sedition. I believe in the ideology of President George Weir. I don't have to be attached to a year. So you're requested, like you, you requested for what he did before in time past, and I chose consciously to turn it over. I went with my team from the CDC Council of Patriots today, one of the Ministry of Justice. I went to the office of Frank Musa Dean. I presented the vehicle to him. I presented the vehicle documents. When I was about to leave the office, Frank Musa Dean said that I should be detained at the National Police Headquarters. No charge, reason best known to himself. And on the scene, calls from Ben and I, Uri kept rolling, and I heard him talking to Mr. Uri. Yeah, Mr. Uri, we got Ben. Mr. Uri, we got Ben. Mr. Uri, we got Ben. So all, all the while, I was at the Ministry of Justice, I heard Musa Din speaking loud and clear to Ben and I, Uri. But we're going to expose those, I mean, no amount of threat, no amount of threat can derail our fabric from exposing those wicked men and women in the disorganized political arrangement who derailed the fabric of our country. President George Weir will succeed. We'll work with our president to ensure that this country gets better. Okay, thanks for. Thank you.